Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing a pregnancy arm, upper body, core, and back workout. If you're doing the pregnancy challenge, this is day two. We're gonna warm up, we're gonna do our upper body workout, and then we're gonna end with a stretch. We're also gonna include some nice leg stretches if you're doing the pregnancy challenge. You might have sore legs like me from the day before. I am going to use some two pound dumbbells. You could also just use cans of beans or water bottles. You really don't need heavy weights. And for the stretch at the end, I am going to use a strap. But if you have a long sleeve t-shirt or a towel, that would also work as well. I'm going to link to the pregnancy challenge info in the description box below. And I will keep making pregnancy workouts every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll start standing up. If you're down, getting up whatever way feels safe. Let's bring our arms out to the side and start with some small arm circles. Getting a little bit bigger. Let's bring our circles forward, small again. Slowly getting bigger and bigger. Good, we can stretch one arm across. Take a deep breath. Stretching the other way. Good. We're going to kick up to our glutes, cross our arms in front, alternating. Good. Let's lunge side to side. Bringing our feet wide apart, we can turn our toes out. Let's bend, stretching through our groin. Move back and forth. Dropping one shoulder in, pressing into your knees. Switching to the other side. Good, come on up. We can hold, pretend to hold a medicine ball. Exhale as you bring your knee up. Good, let's circle our ankles and then we can go ahead and grab our weights or water bottles or cans of beans. Feet hip width distance apart, engaging your core. Lift one arm front, one arm to the side. I'm gonna set the timer for 30 seconds, go. Moving into a scapula squeeze out to the side, pulling your scapula together behind you. Making sure your front and back body are both length and tall. Pulling your elbows behind you. Good. 
setting up for bicep rotations. We're gonna lift up, over. Now coming up bicep curl, only halfway down, up again, and then all the way down. Good. Upper arm stays nice and steady. Good. Out to the side, flip up, down. We've got a 30 second break. You can stretch it out. Take a sip of water if you need. We're gonna set up next for underhand rows. Bending your knees, lengthen the spines, hinging at your hips. Pull up, squeezing your scapula together again. Taking it out to the side now. Core is engaged. Moving into tricep kickbacks. Elbows pointing directly behind you, squeezing at the top. We're gonna do those three exercises again. If you're feeling tired, you can alternate or you can keep going with both arms. Moving into reverse fly. Again, you can alternate or move both. Core is engaged, pulling your baby in. Last one, triceps. <laughs> 
last one. Then we get a 30 second break. We can put our weight down now. We're gonna take our feet wide apart for a sumo squat. Going down, not too far. This is in the leg workout. We can take our hands up. We're gonna inhale down, exhale, oblique crunch on the way up. Setting up, back and forth. Moving into punches, core is engaged, pulling in, strong punches. Bring our hips facing towards the side, move our arms up, engage our core for a modification of Pilates swimming. Small little pulses. Back into your sumo squat, inhale, exhale up. Getting ready for punches. Moving it to a swimming arms. Core is engaged. Lots of length in your neck. We're gonna take a water break after this. 10 more seconds. Awesome job, release, shake it out. We can grab some water. I'm also gonna take my shoes and socks off for the next section. We can come to all fours. We're gonna do some breathing exercises for our core. So if we think of our body as a canister, we're gonna inhale and breathe evenly all around, expanding through our side and back ribs, avoiding letting our shoulders come up as we inhale. And on the exhale, contract your core, pull your baby and your belly in, using your core muscles, inhale, Expand all around. Exhale. Pulling it in. Inhale. Expand. 
one more time. Inhale. Expand. Good. Let's curl our toes and then as we exhale and pull our core in, we're going to lift our knees up. Inhale in. Exhale. Lift. Let's hold here. Inhale. Expand through your ribs. Exhale. Pull it in. One more. Good. Release down. We'll move into bird dog, lifting opposite arm and leg. Exhale. Lift, engage your core. Inhale, switching to the other side. Exhale. Lift. Inhale, down. Continue with your own breath. Last one. Good. While we're here, let's stretch through the back of our leg. You can straighten one leg, pressing the heel towards the ground. Feel a nice stretch. Continue to breathe. Switching to the other side. Good. We're going to do some all fours push ups, or if you wanted to walk and do a modified plank, if that's safe for you, you can. We'll push up. Keeping your core engaged, baby pulled into your spine. Last one here. Let's point our elbows directly behind us now. We're gonna drop our elbows down towards the ground, shift our weight forward, pushing up, activating more of our triceps here, and we'll move almost as if we're taking our upper body in a circle. Good. Let's do one more here. Let's come down. Let's pulse here. Come on up, take a breath. And then we'll lower down and hold. Keeping your core engaged, steady breaths. A couple more seconds here. Good. Come on up. Let's shake it out. We can spread our knees wide. We can move in to child's pose here. Walking your fingertips all the way forward. Let's flip our palms up, bend our elbows, and we can bring our hands to our shoulders. Drag your elbows back on the ground to get a nice stretch through your triceps here. Deep breaths into your back ribs. When you're ready, release your hands, come back to all fours. 
we're gonna work on some thoracic mobility through our upper back, making sure that our hips are level. We can take one hand behind our head and then we're gonna open up through our upper back here. We're keeping our hips level to protect our core from diastasis recti. We don't wanna do any leverage twists. We're just opening up through our upper back. Keeping your core engaged. Last one here, good. We're gonna thread our arm through for thread the needle, placing your weight on your shoulder. And we'll take a couple of breaths here. Good. When you're ready, bring your top hand in front of your face. We'll push back up to all fours, again on the other side, engaging your core, pulling your belly in. One hand goes up, opening up to the side. Last one, beautiful. Thread your arm through, stretching it out. Coming back to all fours. Let's do some gentle hip circles here. Switching directions. Coming back to a neutral spine, moving into cat and cow. Exhale, ballooning out through our back, especially our lower back. Inhale, lengthen, keeping your core engaged. Exhale, ballooning out. Looking up one last time. Good. Let's come up onto our knees. If you wanted to roll your mat under, if your knees are bothering you, you can. Step one foot forward. Moving into a lunge here. You can stay here, or if it feels good to you, you can bend your back leg and then reach for your foot. Getting a nice quad stretch here. Releasing through your hips. Good. And when you're ready, if your back leg is up, we can release it. Switching to the other side. bending your back leg or just staying in a lunge. On your next inhale, let's move out of the pose. We're gonna take a figure four stretch. You can either get down on the ground, or you could also get up on a chair if that feels good. We can cross one leg over and then walk your bottom foot up, sitting up nice and tall. You can also walk your hands back here to get a nice stretch through your wrists. Shouldn't feel painful, just a gentle stretch.
Feel free to lift up on your fingers and stretch through your fingers as well. Let's switch to the other side. Releasing a little bit more. Uncrossing your leg. Let's move into a wide leg and forward fold here. Just as far as feels good, flexing your feet and give yourself a little bit of a boost. If it feels good, you can move side to side or fold forward, whatever feels good. Let's move in to butterfly. If you wanted to grab your strap or a long sleeve shirt or towel here, we're also gonna do some arm stretches. We can take our arm across, sitting tall, taking some deep breaths. Other way. Now, if you wanted to grab your strap, you can lift one arm up, dangle it down, grabbing the other end. Gently pressing your head into your arm. Let's release this side, moving to the other side. releasing out. You can either stay here in butterfly or come to a cross-legged position. Let's take our strap or our towel apart and you can just move around stretching any places that might be tight in your workout today. It. and we can release and come back to our cross-legged position. Thank you so much for joining me for that arm and upper body workout. I hope that you're feeling strong and great after. I will keep making pregnancy workouts every week. To support me, subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up. I'm also gonna link to my free resources. I have a pregnancy meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian, as well as my ebook on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor and a pelvic floor guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for birth and the fastest recovery after.